Good morning, everybody. I actually don't know what time you'll be watching this when it's edited, but I wanted to say good morning anyway. Today, we are on our way up north a little bit to visit our friend Matthew Farah, or Farah, as a lot of people like to say on the internet for some weird reason. It's Farah. Um, we're going to check out his West Side Collector Car Stores. He's invited us up there for an early peek to see what's going on there, and I've been waiting to check this place out for a while, so I'm excited to go. And I'm going to bring my cameras, and I'm going to get some footage, and we will turn this into a little video. For now, though, I'm in the Montero, because um, I don't feel like driving the giant transit up there, even though I love that van. That video is coming soon, too. Uh, so let's uh, hit the road. Let's go. Ooh, YouTuber smash! This building has been a long time coming. The address is 6804 South Sentinella Avenue in Culver City. It's located half a mile from the jumble of infrastructure where the 405 freeway intersects the 90. And yes, we say the here in California. And it's an easy drive to and from LAX as well. This is West Side Collector Car Storage and it's Matt Farah's new spot for both his podcast studio and burgeoning car storage business. I chatted with Farah about the facility and found that he's wanted to do something like this for some time now. He first got the idea way back in 2007, but it became a plausible reality in 2015. He needed a place to park his own cars, figured out what he would want as a customer of such a facility, and decided to turn those needs into his own place that delivered on those demands. The total capacity is 130 cars. There's space for 90 vehicles upstairs, and you can fit another 40 in the basement parking area. And yes, it's amazing to find a place in California with a basement. That's because earthquakes are plentiful in the Golden State. But having a basement is only part of what made this project quite a difficult undertaking. In LA County, building codes are both strict and strictly enforced. We have lots of fires and the aforementioned earthquakes to contend with, and new buildings must be built to handle those potential realities. On top of that, property is expensive as well. So if you want a large place to store vehicles, you can't just go out, you need to go up. Building codes get even more intense as soon as you go over a single story. The impressive stacker lifts can put three cars in the air and that leaves room for a fourth vehicle underneath. Each tray has a limit of up to 18 feet in length, seven feet in height, or 6,000 pounds. The conventional max load machine would be something like a Bentley Bentayga or a long wheelbase Range Rover. And if you want to park a vehicle here, you're going to spend well over $500 per car per month. If you're baller enough to buy a full stack, maybe you'll get a discount. But, but, but we didn't say that. Don't use our name. That, that won't work. And if you're baller enough to buy that stack, you don't really need one. And your vehicles will be treated well. There's an impressive detail station stocked with fantastic Ammo NYC products and the attendants on hand seem to know their stuff with respect to the vehicles. When it comes time to pick up your car, you can chill in the lounge area and wait. There are locker rooms to store your favorite bottle of whatever or a box of cigars. You can kill time on the sim racing setup around the corner, but you don't really need to kill that much time. I asked Matt how long it would take to clearly empty a stack if you had a vehicle at the very top, and he said he could get it down in 15 minutes. So you can just hang out and chill, and maybe you'll catch Matt recording a podcast. His new studio is here and it looks fantastic. The lighting, room tone, and equipment are all top notch. It almost makes me want to start my own podcast back up, almost. So if you're in need of space to store a car in the Southern California area, you need to swing by and check out Matt's West Side Collector Car Storage. The facilities are impressive and Matt clearly wants to treat your precious metal in the same manner in which he treats his own awesome machines. And you can see that for yourself because he's got a stack full of them. Okay, I am going to try to talk loud. I don't know if this is aimed right and I am driving on the freeway, the 405, on the Friday before a holiday weekend. So, you know, good times. Also, I'm running out of fuel. Um, that was a quick look at Matt's West Side Collector Car Storage. And as you can see, the place is fantastic. He crushed it over there, everyone who helped build it. Um, it's, it's just a really well done space from 
the you know the needs of Matt with the podcast studio to the actual care given to the way the vehicles are parked. I asked him if he had a customer who had a vehicle on the fourth level of the stacker and it was full with vehicles below it. How long would it take to get that vehicle out? And he said 15 minutes, and that is very impressive to me. The stackers move good, well. They, they move you know nice and smoothly. Um, there's there's consideration. If you've seen any of Matt's videos, you know earthquake codes, fire codes, all this crazy crap that he had to deal with. But you know to make the build the building safe and proper, that's what you got to do. Especially you know modern building codes require a lot of money and time and care. Um, the office spaces are great. The lounge space is really nice. There's already some liquor in there. I did not get to partake this time around, but I do plan on going back to record a podcast in the near future. And the studio is fantastic. The studio is so well done from the lights to the easily controllable um, iPad and iPhone setup. I guess the room tone is fantastic as well. It just, it the, it all came together really well and I'm very happy for uh, my friend Matt there. It's, it's just a really cool place. Um, and if, if you need a car stored in California, I mean, you definitely got to check him out because he has some spots left. They, he probably won't three months from now after it opens. And um, yeah, if you are, if you have the means and you have the, the vehicles, it is definitely worth checking out for your storage needs. This is not sponsored or anything like that. Matt just asked me if I wanted to come up and check it out. And I said yes, and I decided to make a video of it because I thought you guys might like to see it. So there you go. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. And now the standard YouTube -y smash cut thing. Whoop! Actually, whoop! Reverse. Um, I gotta start doing this more because uh, you know you need to do it. It's YouTube. Like, subscribe, bell, uh, all that other crap, and then go to blipshift.com and find our, us in the partner store. I think the URL is actually blipshift.com/universe. Haha! <laughs> the my fucking GoPro fell. I need to clean my windows. Uh, blipshift.com slash universe and um, buy a t-shirt, buy stickers, do all that good shit and uh, keep watching. We'll see you in the next one. Yeah!